Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, June 14th, 2017. The first quarter of my study already is over. That's crazy, but it's also good because it means that I finally started my study and... Hey, Enderman, no! Come over here, yep, yep, come over here. Taste, taste my sword. Where, where are you? Where are you? Taste it again. And again, and again. And again. Bye. Alright, alright. This stupid enderman, this stupid enderman once again wanted to steal my dirt. But no, I don't allow you to steal my dirt. Ooh, no, 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 dear. This was close. <laughs> this was very close. Hi. How are you? How are you, Mr. Creeper? Wow, this was a surprise. This was a bad surprise. Alright, Creeper has been defused. Enderman has been stopped. Everything, everything is good. Now I think I can start the episode. Unfortunately, I don't know where this Enderman stole the dirt. So, yeah, I'm quite sure at some point I will once again find a hole in my landscape and then I know, all right, I guess uh, this was the place where the Enderman stole my dirt. So, hmm, is there, is there maybe, maybe a piece of dirt missing where I can just place it? Maybe here, maybe here. Let's, let's just put it there. Well, I think this looks weird because of the, of the double grass then. Well, anyway. Let's, let's just keep this piece of dirt in my inventory until I find a hole somewhere in the landscape. And yeah, let's return to the storage room because... No, I don't want to have this rotten flesh. Go away. Go away, rotten flesh. Alright, study. I finally started my study. The first two sessions were on Monday and Tuesday. And the study will run throughout uh, the remainder of this month. And yeah, in total, I will have four training sessions. And I hope those training sessions will be successful. And I hope the learning outcome, the training outcome of playing my training game will be will be good, will be significant, will be awesome. And this this would be fantastic. This would be just fantastic. I hope, I really hope that I won't lose too many participants because in total I received 28 applications for the study. This is not a good, not, not a good rate. I hope for more applications. So I'm still a little bit sad, but well, 28 participants would have been okay. Unfortunately, three of them already dropped out before the first session even started and they dropped out for interesting reasons such as I suddenly got an invitation, the group I am assigned to overlaps with a different course and um, yeah, I just thought, well, the dates for the various groups were announced in advance. So you were aware of those dates as you signed up for the study and now you suddenly tell me that you don't have time anymore? Seriously? So yeah, this this all the time is uh, the usual problem and it's super bad because um, results are better when you have more results, of course, I mean, the higher the the amount of results you have, the higher or the better the um, results in general are. So yeah, that's that's really a problem, and it's uh, super bad when you then lose a uh, couple of participants when you have only a few of them. So that's that's bad, but I hope I really hope that I won't lose more of them, at least the VR group seems to enjoy the VR version of the game. They were really excited, they, they really enjoyed it. I was also super happy that I had no participant who had a strong effect of cyber sickness. So this is also a good result because it means that I still have my 14 participants I have assigned to the VR group and um, 
yeah, I hope this will continue throughout the remainder of uh, this experiment. This would be really, really awesome. The experiment itself is, well, not stressful, but um, relatively demanding, not because I have to do that much, but because I have to yeah, uh, monitor what they are doing and have to give them advice. Also, each a session lasts 90 minutes. So each training session lasts 90 minutes. Now that's completely fine when you have a desktop version of a computer game where you can just um, have, wait, one, two, three, four, dang it, this flower is in the way, of course. New recipes unlocked. Check your recipe book. Fantastic. Thank you, Minecraft. Thank you very much. Oh dear, this game. This game. Um, there's a flower. All right. So where to continue? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Before I continue, I need to do this. Okay, let's maybe go to the opposite side. So one, two, three, four, maybe. Maybe here. This could be a good spot. All right, let's put it down there and leaves. Very nice. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's completely fine when you have the the desktop computer game because you just need a computer room and you can have several participants playing simultaneously, so no problem. However, when you have the VR version and the VR version is played using the HTC Vive, then you need a little bit more space because the HTC Vive has this room scale function. So you can really walk around and explore the virtual environment by walking. So this is super cool, but yeah, it requires space and this makes things a little bit more tricky. Also, those uh, vibes aren't that uh, cheap. So I'm super lucky that I can use two of them simultaneously. But still, when you have 14 participants who play the VR game and each participant has to play the game for 90 minutes, then you can yeah do the math and find out how many hours I have to sit in the lab and watch them play the game and uh, yeah this is an interesting task well it's it's still a lot of fun because research in general is fun but um yeah it's also demanding especially the the first session is quite demanding as i have to introduce them into the game i have to show them the game controls i have to explain them how the uh, the experiment is structured have to introduce them to the various questionnaires they have to fill out. Also, because we are using the same um, vice for all the participants, we of course have to make sure that this is hygienic. So, um, yes, <laughs> okay. Okay, wow, wow, this was surprising. This was surprising indeed. Phew. All right, let's 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 mark the spot because maybe I, I like to have some ladder there or so in case this happens again or so. Oh dear, um, don't, don't. Wow, this was, this was more than unexpected. Oh dear, no, I can't get up there. Okay. You have to be careful when you are you're walking on that path. Um, huh. Okay. Good that I cover it with some. Well, maybe it's easier to do this from down here. Um, so yes, we we have some some hygienic H and D masks. They are. Mm, what I'm not quite sure the the material they are made of. It's not not like a tissue. It's a little bit stronger paper or so. So they they really absorb all the sweat and all the the other 
skin things you you can have so that's that's quite important but yeah so i have to explain them how those hygienic masks work and i have to equip them with one and um yeah this this all takes time and um i think it will be easier the the next week when they are already when they are already trained to use this the system when they're already trained to use the the masks and um yeah but but now it's it's a little bit more work and so yeah it it was the, the first two days of the study were quite interesting but now i'm i'm looking forward and as i said i'm um, yeah i'm looking forward to the next week and i'm super excited and super happy that they seem to in Dang it. enjoy the game one participant in particular was quite um year um she I, I i don't think i don't know if she really was that much immersed in the game but she was quite stubborn that she wanted to complete and solve a couple of puzzles so yeah at the end of the training session i informed her okay training session is over you can now come to a stop please um fill out uh, the questionnaire or well the last few questions of that questionnaire because it's the questionnaire um yeah is designed to go through the entire training session that oh yeah there's a witch i have to do something about that a witch um that i can measure the effects of potential cyber sickness as they play the game Ali, ow Ali, yup. oh new new recipes again but i'm poisoned and this is not good all right let's 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 try to to get into the cabin not that i'm really in danger or so but i think it's it's better to to be in a protected environment before the creeper sneaks up on me or so this would be bad all right let's close the door and get the fish out and enjoy some cooked fish all right um what do i want to say this is which totally interrupted me um but yeah it's it's a lot of of work to to get them introduced but now i think um since they are trained and used to the game everything will oh yes i i wanted to talk about this particular participant um i told her all right session is over you can now come to a stop and um yeah 15 minutes later she was still playing the game so i thought okay i i just was happy that she was that that interested in solving the puzzles but um yeah it's it's interesting it's it's really good so i'm i'm super happy and i hope this will continue to be that effective and that interesting i'm i'm definitely looking forward to the next week and i hope as i said everything will will continue like this so this this would be nice okay um sugar spider eye dang it once again encumbered i can do this to free up one inventory slot all right so much about uh, the study um um can i is there spider spider eye? no yes yes spider eye. i can get rid of the spider eye. this is good all right uh come on let me out the next thing i want to talk about is an interesting not hobby but um i accidentally heard about that new recipes unlocked check your recipe book oh dear minecraft why just why i uh, was made aware that there is the america's cup that there are the the playoffs playoffs of the america's cup it's the the sailing comp competition and um yeah i watched it last year i found it quite interesting so this time i was reminded hey the america's cup is taking place um are you watching it again and i said no um i i wasn't aware that it's it's taking place again and so 
yeah, now, now since I was made aware, I started to watch it again. And it's super interesting because, um, yeah, those, those boats are uh, just, um, how do I get this right now? This would be, it might work. Yeah, I think I can do it like this because the, the, the boats they use are just, just crazy. I mean, of course, when you have a certain sports car or so racing car, then those things of course are crazy in, in comparison to, to normal cars or so. But those ships in particular are super interesting. They almost fly and I think they have the, a little bit the structure of a lifting body or so and this allows them to fly. So when they have wind that is powerful enough to reach a certain speed, then those sailing boats basically lift up and only have contact with the water with some fins or so and this looks just spectacular this this is super exciting to watch and it's uh, super interesting so yeah I'm, I'm once again interested in this, this interesting sport I'm not quite sure why it makes things so interesting I think it's just once again the comp uh, the the combination of technology tactics because they also have to get uh, the current right they have to get the wind right so there, there's a lot of, of of thinking and strategy going into uh, those races and it's all the time two teams against each other and um, well I think this is still still okay at least I hope it's still okay let's see I can remove this yes I think this is no, I think now I did something wrong or is this right now let's see let's see let's do dirt 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 uh not dirt uh, what is this cobblestone cobblestone let's do a lot of cobblestone um yeah this is about right this is good okay cool and i'm out of cobblestone all right so there's there's a lot of strategy also i'm super interested because i wasn't aware that the boats although they are sailing boats use some kind of hydraulic system in order to do the maneuvers to to move the sails and for this hydraulic system they of course need pressure and um, yeah normally when you have a normal engine then the the pressure is generated by that engine but the sailing boat without engine so they have to manually generate that pressure and there are now two different um, methods of uh, generating that pressure the, the 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 traditional way basically is to use uh, to do it basically by hand so they are um, they are basically having some kind of winch system or so I, I'm, I'm not quite sure how exactly this works but yeah they they are they are spinning the thing and uh, yeah they they are they are generating the pressure and um, or they are they are producing the pressure for the hydraulic system so that they can do the the next turn and the other team I saw the other construction had some kind of bicycle system so instead of producing the pressure or building up the pressure by hand they basically sit on some kind of bicycle seat and they they are doing the 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 bike bicycle thing and this is also super interesting to to see them sitting in the in the in the boat and then they are doing this, this crazy workout so this the spinning basically that's also interesting so yeah uh, i don't know why why i'm so fascinated right now about the sailing competition but it's it's super interesting and um, super exciting so i am excited about the final run i think it will be next weekend if i'm correct so yeah i'm i'm excited about this to to see some some more sailing action and yeah maybe this is also a thing for you maybe you are also interested in this 
sport would be interesting. This, this uh, would be super cool to, to have a discussion about sailing. Well, I, I have not really that much, that knowledge on sailing, water sports and nautical sports in general, but um, yeah, it's 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 cool. It's interesting. It's it's something new. It's something different. So from time to time, you can you can enjoy those things. All right. I think it's now time to enjoy some. Hmm, I'm quite encumbered. To uh, no, I can't really enjoy fishing right now. Have I got some additional pumpkins? Wait. You know, I can continue with the pass building activity because I need to somehow extend the pass to the Monument Valley. And so far I have just connected the bridge. So yeah, we, we can now enjoy the the pass in, what, this an Enderman? I don't know. In the full length. And uh, it's super cool. It's super cool that it's already that long. Made some good progress. So ships, was there something else I wanted to discuss? Um, yeah, one disappointing thing. Last episode I already talked about the first Dirt 4 episode that received some uh, content IDs and um, yeah, since last episode the content ID strikes are still there. So I still have to wait that they get removed. I even um, created a second version of that, that episode where I reduced the the music or where I cut out the music that was was flagged, but then the the new video got another content ID strike. This time from uh, I think this is just a fake account or so. But yeah, um, now I have two different versions of the same episode on my YouTube channel, and both of them have a content ID strike, and both of them are waiting for the removal of those content ID strikes. So in this case. Um, yeah, wait. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember there's uh, this problem. <laughs> I still like to have some leather there, but since the moon is rising, I think it's about time to get back to the tower and to end of this episode. Yeah, so, oh dear, there's another witch. I don't want to get poisoned this time, so let's let's make sure that I circumvent that witch. There's another creeper, there's a zombie. Everything is coming along nicely. Everything is perfect. Everything is fine. Oh dear. And I miss the zombie for a significant amount. Oh dang it. All right, horse. And I have some too much dirt, I guess. Let's, let's just leave all the dirt here. All right, pretty nice. Um, yeah, content ID. So this is just bad. It's, it's just a bad thing. It's just a bad situation. I hope those content ID strikes get removed. I think I will upload a third version where I have even removed the music that was flagged by that fake account in the hope that this will change a couple of things. But yeah, it's, it's sad. It's annoying. It's yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't shoot my horse again. Ow. Don't shoot my horse again. Um, yeah, it's it's really sad that they they don't get rid of this system. Or well, that the the system has still so many flaws, and yeah, it's it's just a bad thing. Uh, ah, there you are. Haha, get blocked. Yep. Oh, new recipes unlocked. Check your recipe book. Uh, Minecraft, have I, have I secured the horse? Yes, I do. Horse is secured. And now I can put away the shield. 
I can store some stuff in here, such as the ender pearl. Yeah, that's that's all I can store in here. Fantastic. Okay, it's time to end off this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Epi. See you. Thank you.